Hey guys, it's Jess here and welcome to a little extra video for the week. This week I am planning the month of July, so this is my first time filming this. Um, if you saw my screw prints haul on this item, which I'll link above, um, I have actually already decorated all my months, my other, con my normal Erin Condren, and I'll show you here. So this is the July in that one. Um, but I wanted to try out some bought kits and a different sort of flavor or style in my extra Erin Condren. So I will, um, so I decided to pick up this one because it was, I wanted to try out her glitter month and I've also bought the August one which obviously is very different. So that will be really fun to play with when it comes in and do for next month. But for now, I think we're going to get started on this. And um... I don't know if you can see it in this view, but uh, yes, all the neutrals, all the neutral monthlies do have pixelation problems. And so really the solution to that is to cover it up. So that is what I'm going to do. Just Oops, I didn't make it long enough. Oh, I can't really tell. So it's the top of there. See, so the difference with the old Aaron Country and the new is that this top bar is thicker, goes further up the page. So, the old kits will leave um, a bit of space here or there, depending on how you put it down. But, Squirrel Prince Co. has. Um, you know, format it so it fits perfectly. I'm going to do this sideways, this, this um, thingy. I think I'm going to go dark to light. Yeah. This is really exciting. I haven't tried out. Her monthly kits before. I'm finally jumping on the bandwagon, guys. But, um... Since I already planned out all the ones my other ones, it's not like I could really film it all. There's no really point in buying the old monthly kits. But now that I have the second planner to work with, it gives me the perfect opportunity to try this out. So if you hear like the train in the background, it's a big beepy jerk. Alright, let's open it up. Uh, so I'm not used to how thin it is on one side now. Okay, so the main bits down. That really is effective. Like the chunky glitter looks so good. I really, really like it. Um, and actually like it's funny because July here is the middle of winter. And these sort of, these colors and this glitter really lends itself to a wintry feel. So it's perfect for this month for me, which is kind of funny. All right, I'm going to take some of these. She gives you three payday flags in this one. I can't remember how she changed it in the new format, but I have two paydays. I get paid fortnightly. So I'm going to... Put those in. There we go. Two of the best days of the month. <laughs> and I don't even know when I have bill dues because they kind of they come up every three months and they just are like, it's due in a week. And you're like, alright, geez. Um, <laughs> so I don't really know when that's coming out. So I'm going to start using like these boxes to put in stuff. So the first one we have is Friday. I have an abstract due for a conference. What am I going to use? 
I'm trying to stick mostly into the kiddo though. I have some things to add in <clears throat> at the end. Um, SBC doesn't really have any like academic um, sort of icon. So I'll use this little alarm clock. So the abstract is due and I've actually already um, handed it in, so that's all right. Now the second we need another event box because it is the federal election. We're deciding on if we're going to continue with our shitty shitty government or get a other sort of less shitty government. It's always the same, isn't it? So what can I do for our election? I suppose I could do like the little house because it's like my home. <laughs> So that's the election. I use this um, black sharpie to write these in. Just gonna do it now. Okay, I just wrote an abstract due and election, and in Australia, elect uh, voting is compulsory. So I always vote, and I always vote properly. So if you're American, which I know the majority of my viewers are American. Register to vote and vote because it is important. Um, your vote does count, <laughs> as we've seen by Brexit. So, then the 8th is my dad's birthday, and I think I'm going to use one of these multicolor birthday stickers that I got in a misfit grab bag. And I don't know if I, I think I'll use this bright blue rather than the sort of purpley one. So it's on the 8th, I believe my dad is, like, because it's a bit shorter, I should probably put it in the middle. But I believe my dad is turning 63, so that's pretty nuts. Um, we'll make sure to do something special for him on his birthday. Love hearts. Okay, so it's my dad's birthday. And actually, because we're not covering up um, the out-of-date ones, maybe I should put in my mum's birthday as well. But what colour? I guess this sort of taupey silver goes with it. So that is the 29th her birthday is. And I'm just going to fold this over to write it in. Okay, and I've already mailed off her present, so although I'm filming this like before July starts, but you won't be seeing it until like early mid July. <laughs> well, actually, mid July, so I'm sorry about this, but I'm gonna say everything is in future tense because it's not July yet for me. <laughs> um, mm, 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 what else do I have to put in? Do I want to put in, let's put in the big thing that's on the 25th. So on the 25th marks the, um, the one year that we've had our cat Heidi. And if you haven't watched my early videos, I kind of talk about a whole drama with her, but, um, She's a Norwegian forest cat, and so we would have had her for one year. So I'm going to take these um, Heidi stickers that I made. But I have Heidi's and I have kibbles to remember to buy food. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little Heidi and I'm going to put it on here as well to sort of decorate. So cute! Let me zoom you guys in like so you can see. A cute little Heidi sticker. That's exactly what she looks like. <laughs> See, we would have had her for one whole year then. Which is crazy. It feels like the time has just flown by. I feel like I just got her. <laughs> um, so what else do I even want to put in here? Ah. Oh yeah, that's it. That's another event. So obviously we don't have Independence Day in Australia, so we'll put July 4th. I have a 
workshop all day. Once again, not really an academic stickers, but I'll use an at symbol. And I'll put in the name of the workshop. The name of the workshop it's Romantic Rituals and it's about emotions of love in Europe because um, I'm a history postgrad. Uh, My months are so empty. <laughs> I like not going anywhere, doing anything. I know. How about I mark off on the 29th? And I'll use, um, is there another clock, alarm clock? Because I used one, yeah, another alarm clock. And I'll mark that um, my PhD milestone is due, my research proposal is due in one month. Oh, uh, that's crazy. I feel like it's nowhere near done at all. Literally at all, so <laughs> I have a lot of work to do this month <laughs> to try and actually get that up to par. Yeah, wow. I don't think I have much else to put in. <laughs> I know that's really sad, <laughs> but it's the life of a postgrad, I guess. I'm just looking. I'm just looking at these. So I guess I'll save some of this stuff just in case things come out and more things will get filled in. Um, maybe I'll fill out some of the sidebar. All right, gang, I filled it out. What I did here is I did my planned um, spreads for the plan, my usual normal plan with me is my own country in here. Of course, I've already done Sailor Moon at this point. And then I've done my um, plan with me or plan as I go is that we'll be doing in this one. So far, I've only got one which I'm working on right now, which I think you would have seen. So <laughs> that's the mystery drawback kit from Scribble Prince Co. Because, oh, I didn't write this. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I've written that out now. So I think that is everything I can put in for now. And I've got this much left. Plenty to keep going, so I'm going to put this in that back. And you never know, I might play around with it. Um, I was just thinking like, do I want to put my July Wacky Holidays from Once More With Love in there? But then this makes it kind of annoying. Okay, I'm going to quickly put these in what, I've already used some of them, but I'll put in the rest what I have because I don't think they're really going to go with any of my spreads coming up this month. So I'm going to put them in here so I can look at them whenever. I'll be right back guys to end this video. Okay, that sheet is all done and it really like fills up and makes it all colorful, the monthly spread. I'm really looking forward to macaroni Tuesday and chocolate day. And I'm sad about Disneyland day because I can't go to Disneyland. But, never mind. Um, let's finish spread. Uh, please thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.